In the heart of Loma, Montana lies the Baxter family farm. A place of tradition and heritage passed down through generations. Hey, Dad, what's up? Lucas, I need you to come to the farm right away. We need to talk. I have things to do. Can it wait? Just get here as soon as you can, son. I don't know what this is about, but it doesn't sound good. Man, he's stressing me out. I know we had plans to harvest today. Why are the combines just sitting in the field? That isn't good. Morning, Dad. Everything okay? Morning, son. Sit down. I need to talk to you. You know I haven't been feeling well lately. The truth is, I'm not getting any younger. The farm needs someone to take care of it when I'm gone. Dad, I've told you I'm not cut out for this farming stuff. I have my own plans, my own dreams. I know, son. But sometimes life has a way of leading us down unexpected paths. The farm is our legacy, our responsibility. I need to know it'll be in good hands when I'm no longer around. For Lucas Baxter, the decision to take over the farm is one he never thought he'd have to make. And so with a heavy heart, Lucas steps into the role of farm owner, unaware of the challenges and triumphs that lie ahead. Welcome to a new season of SWU Farm Rescue. I feel like it might be worse than he's leading on. He, he never, never misses did. harvest. I guess we gotta get back out there and get this flax harvested and next month we probably need to get the oats going. We're running out of time this year. Better time than now to learn this operation. So we have a couple helpers that do work with us on doing these harvests, but they are not gonna be with us next year. So I'm gonna have to figure this all out myself. And let's see, go over to the combines and see if we can get started. I know the helpers are ready, they're on their way. We gotta get this done though. We got this field to finish up. The field to our right is oats. We gotta do that. And then behind me down the hill a ways, there's another field that we have to harvest before the end of next month. Uh, August and September are always busy for us, but without my dad's help, I'm not sure we're gonna get this done in time. I don't really have a lot of time to learn. I'm gonna have to rely on our employees to do the harvest. I have ran a grain cart throughout the years as a kid, but I've never ran the harvesters, so I'll get them going on these harvesters again, and I'll get into the grain cart and help unload, but Boy, I got a lot of learning ahead of me in the future. This one looks pretty much full already. That's not good. All right. Let's get these all prepared and going. All right, the combines are back at it. Looks like they missed a little spot right here. We'll have to yell at them later about that. But I'm going to go ahead and cruise around, get the grain cart going so we can unload them. They're going to be both pretty full here pretty soon. They already got their 80% beacons running letting us know they're getting close. So we gotta hurry over there and get that grain cart going. All right, I guess I will stop right here. We'll head on over. We got the case all hooked up to the Kenzie grain cart there, the auger wagon. And we got the bison out to help us with the harvest. We'll fill up the truck, even though we're right across the street from the bends, it's just the process that we do. And you could imagine this is a huge field. So we'll be moving that truck around a lot. Let's go ahead and head over and get them unloaded. It looks like we got a couple that need unloaded already, both of them. Just a lot to do today. All right, here we are. Kevin, go ahead and um, open the pipe there. Oh, you're gonna wanna drive? I think it might make sense just to stay put. Oh yeah, you wanna drive, okay, okay. I gotta get the other one unloaded. I don't understand why why you wanna do it that way, but okay. All right, he's pretty empty there. We'll go ahead and sloop around and get the other one going. So get this harvest back up and Full, at full force it's like they waited for the other one that was that was nice Kevin and Steve here doing a great job go ahead and open the pipe Steve perfect hold about 1300 bushels in this cart not sure the capacity of the semi so we'll find that out here later on looking good 500 bushels so far and while I have time I am gonna go drop it off in the at the truck and then come over here for the long haul after that boy we got a log day ahead of us huge field Harvesting some flax. Not getting the best yield. Dad yeah, did not take great shape of the fields this year. Just ran out of time. Didn't, was not able to treat it with, treat the weeds with some herbicide. Did get it 100% fertilized, but this yield feels like 
it's like less than half of what we normally get. This isn't good. And just go ahead and unload it. I wanted to see how much 500 bushels does do to this first little hopper in the trailer here. Just about fills it up. We might need a second semi one of these days. Lots of driving back and forth, especially with a we're short a worker, short a short an employee. And Steve and Kevin aren't going to be with us next year. I don't I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I might have enough to fill this up. We're gonna find out now. Harvesters are doing a great job out there. Getting close to the halfway point already, it seems. Maybe a third. Go ahead and open this up. We'll activate it once we get over the, the opening of the truck here. Gotta learn all this terminology. All right, that one seems full. Let's pull a little bit farther ahead here. Go ahead and fill this one up as well. Go, now we'll try to cruise out of the way. Close the pipe for now, but I'm gonna loop around and line up so that we can just drive right back to this spot and unload the rest. Yeah, that should be good enough. We can line up when we get back. Okay. Hop out here and into the semi. Now, do they have the bins set up already? That's the question. Short little drive. I see the John Deere's in the shed, so I take it they don't have it set up. Oh, kind of. I'm not sure. I guess we could put the oats in the far left one, so that should be okay. Yeah, let me get that tractor over here to help us run this. Cruise around this way. The farm's pretty clean right now. He's got most of the equipment put away. At least that's good. We'll have to go around and check everything out and make sure everything's good for now. Okay, should just hook up to this back here. So I believe we want to open this up. That should do it. All right, now we should just have to drive over. See how this goes. It's not really a pullover one, so wish we would get the type of belt system that allows us just to pull over it because I think I'm gonna get close here and then I need to pull that in. Yeah, this is, this is not, not gonna work. All right, let's get in here. I pulled this. Oh, let's see if maybe we go this direction. Yeah, that gives us clearance. And then we pull forward here. Not the best setup. Not hit the tractor. Not hit the tractor. If we move it like this, that should do it, right? All right, let's try. Oh, let's see if it's lined up good over here. Not bad. Not bad. All right, there we go. See, yep, going in the going in the bin up there. Beautiful, but like a thousand bushels. It looks like we're getting right now. And unloading the back here. Not a bad situation there. Not a bad process. All right, once that's done, we'll move this out of the way so we can drive off. And hopefully, they're not too much waiting for us out there. So. Let's go. We can park closer to the side we're harvesting this time. Now that we got that emptied out, that'll make things a lot easier. It's like we made pretty good time. They're not quite ready for us yet, so that's good. And we'll finish unloading this before we head out. All right, that's unloading. Now we hop back in here. Once that's done, we're gonna drive onto the other side of the field. I think right here will be a good spot to park. We'll have to run on over and get the cart now. And back at it, start unloading here. The front harvester is going to have more capacity or less capacity left right now, but since we're here, we can unload this. They should be able to get almost to the end of this pass without being full. I just like to be a little safe with getting here as soon as possible, but I think we're okay up there. I just talked to Kevin. He said should be able to empty Steve here and then head on up. So far, going pretty good. I, I need to look at the books to see how bad these numbers are compared to last year, but from my memory, we're getting about... 50 bushels an acre right now, and we usually get closer to 100. Not too great. All right. Like we had plenty of time. Unloaded here as well. Starting to get the hang of this. 
Love the technology in these tractors. My dashboard's telling me we're almost at 300 bushels in here. You know, we can get a little over a thousand in the semi, so it should be good. All right, it's got them all emptied. We'll drop this off and just kind of hang out, wait for them to be ready for more. Looking at my tablet here, it looks like we're getting close to being to the halfway point. Pretty good progress. Gonna start getting dark here soon though. Well, it's early morning. We got the harvest done last night. It's looking really good. I, you know, we still got the semi over here. We got to put some things away, but we got to harvest the oats. Uh, let's take a look at my tablet real quick. So field four is the field we just did that had the flax in it. We also own field six over here that has oats and field seven as well. And those are ready to harvest this week. We got to get that taken care of now. But next, we ended up getting just under 4,000 bushels, about 3,800 bushels from that harvest. So I hope that's good. And I had to pay a lot of bills this morning. Money's running out, but it's time to check on the cows. Got to go check on the cows, see how they're doing, make sure they have enough food and water and everything that they need. All right, let's see what we got around here. Why are the bunkers empty? That's, that's not normal. Looking pretty bare around here. Don't understand why. We got a little bit of straw. Yeah, I hear you. I guess some of that manure removed too. Man, I remember when I was a kid, all of these stalls were full of cows. Just cattle everywhere. Now we're down to these last three. Probably spread them out a little bit better. Definitely got some babies around here, but let's go look at the feed. See if they have any left. I'm gonna have to get a hold of my dad and see what the plan was. I don't know if he's buying from somebody, but oh no. That's not good. That's not good. The situation just keeps getting worse. Hey mom, what's going on? Lucas, you need to come home. Your father has passed away. What? How? I don't... I don't understand. He was fine yesterday. Just come home quickly. Oh, this is beyond terrible. We have two fields to harvest. Dad just passed away. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, what are we going to do? I don't even know what I'm looking for at this point. I'm just looking for a hint or a hope or something. It's got to have like a farmer's almanac or something out here to help us figure it out. There's a note on here. Phone number. SWU Farm Rescue. I wonder what that means. Let me give them a call. Hello, this is Chris from SWU Farm Rescue. How may I help you? 